Hello everyone, this is Aida Kolami from Agrimat Soft Research Company. I'm here to teach you how to prepare your soil map and your soil database for your SWOT model. So the first thing you will need to do is to go to FAO or FAO site and browse to the page Digital Soil Map of the World. If you go down the page, you can see Digital Soil Map of the World is a shape file format. You can see different types of this world like erdas or whatever and you will need esri shape file format so you download that file and you open it in arcmap window it's a shape file dot shape and you will add it you can see the soil map of the world here my study area is in iran and in neshabur plain so you need to open your borders of the study study area and okay you can see it's opened out here now i will use the clip analysis tool in order to extract the features in my study area okay input features will be soil map of the world and clip features will be the borders of your study area now you will define output address okay and save it okay so you can see it is the soil map of your study area generated out here if you just uh, simply go to symbology and categories and add all values in order to see it better you can see these are different segments of soil in your study area now the problem is that you can see these uh, false soils here it's the code of each soil type in your study area but the problem is that if you inform this shapefile and this map to your SWAT model it can't read it it can't understand these false soil codes so what we will need to do is to inform these false soils to your SWAT model and we will do it by informing these codes in the database of the model in order to do it you need to download map window and mw swat you need to first download map window i have searched it in the google so you can just find it easier you will download map window and install it it's a super easy process it's just the next 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 process and it will be installed it doesn't have anything to do with you know it's not it's not a hard process then you will uh, go to SWAT uh, site SWAT official site and MW SWAT is shown here and you will download and install this MW SWAT in the map window interface after that after you have done all that you can see the database of MW SWAT so I can go to program files x86 and I will find map window and then plugins and head to MW SWAT. Yeah, it's here. If you open MW SWAT 2012 database shown here and go to user soil, you can see S name which is for soil name if you copy one of these um, false soil codes and head to filter and text filters which contains one of these soil codes you can see they are shown there so what does it mean it means that this database can understand these false soil codes shown here so what you will need to do is to copy and replace this data set with your 
default data set of your SWAT. So we will go through and do it. But the problem is that, you know, I have done all that. And if I go to my SWAT data set, you can see already they are there. But I will just redo it in order to you understand. So it's my, where did I go? I went to local disk C, SWAT here, arc SWAT, and databases, and yeah, SWAT 2012, okay? And it's the user sort. I said, you know, it's done already, but I will redo it. You will right click on user soil, go to import, and click on access database. You can see this, you know, window opened here. And in the file name, you will browse to map window and MW SWAT that you have uninstalled and we saw the databases. Drive C, X86, and map window. I can't find it. Map window, and plugins, and MW SWAT, and this dataset, MDB file. So, Okay, here you will choose the user soil, but generally whatever data set you need, you can select. But here we need user soil, this one. Okay, user soil. Okay, um, no, close. So, what uh, has happened here is that you, you have one user soil and one user soil one. So, what you will do is to delete this um, user soil, which is the old user soil of the default SWAT data set. Delete. Okay, I will close it first and then delete user soil. Delete. Yes, and user soil one, you will rename it and delete the one. Okay, now you have user soil which contains all these file soil codes in it. Now you have soil map which SWAT can read. In other videos, I will show you how to inform these maps to your SWAT model, how to make the lookup tables, which are very important and like necessary and critical. And we will cover all those topics in the uh, later videos. So happy to have you here. See you later. Bye.